What are some of the words that define you? Oh, black, white, Irish, British, guy, straight, cisgender, non-binary, shy, patient, empathetic and considerate, disabled, proud, interdependent, joyful, grieving, all of the above. And I, I don't know because I'm finding out who, who I am at the moment, so. Would you say you're an emotional person? Very emotional. Yes, I would certainly say I'm an emotional person. I let my emotions rule most of my life, probably a bit too much. How honest are you? To a fault. As honest as I can be. Very honest. I try to be honest with myself and everybody. I think I'm mostly honest on the whole, unless I really don't like you. Who is the strongest person you know? My mum. My mum and one of my brothers. My wife, Diane. What's a quality that you wish you had? Just one? Yeah. <laughs> Patience. More confidence. I wish I could see myself how other people saw me. What's your best quality? God, you're really putting me on the spot here. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. Um, modesty. <laughs> Wanting to leave a positive legacy. My loyalty. What's your worst quality? Um, I tend to beat myself up a lot. Selfishness. I tend to overanalyze everything I want to do. What did your parents or guardians teach you about emotions? Very little. Very little. My father was a very hard person. If they're positive, show them. If they're negative, hide them. Mm, it's funny. I have a mom and a dad that never communicate their emotions. So it was hard for me even to say I love you to a friend of my boyfriend or someone. Like, One thing I will say is that I didn't really get taught how to process emotions. Because of that, I developed like negative coping mechanisms rather than just processing them healthily. How would you describe how you feel at this very moment? Excited. At peace. All good. Do you ever feel shame? A lot of the time. Rarely. Uh, as I said, I'm quite content of who I am as a human being. Oh, yeah. And how do you overcome shame? Um, I don't know. I, I, I tend to obsess over it until I'm, I've probably exhausted the subject, maybe. That's such a good question. You have to realise where you develop the shame from and then sort of process it through that way. And I think once you can determine where the instigating factor was, you can almost like objectively realise that you don't really have a reason to hold on to any shame. If you had to make one change about yourself or the way that you treated others, what would it be? Oh, it's a big question. I've struggled with mental health from the military for many, many years. I'd, I'd like to do my military time again and, and see and make, make changes if I could, if I, if I knew the consequences that one could carry with them for the rest of their lives. To, to, to listen more uh, and assume less. I'm trying to educate myself on the world outside of being a straight white man and the privilege that brings. And I want to learn how to use that privilege that I have to help those around me. I wish I could be more patient with other people's growth. I can be a little bit impatient. I think the one change I would make for myself is just to be much more outgoing and just really not be afraid to like, try new things, be, be more open, more interdependent, really lean into to grief and to joy and just to exist wholeheartedly as a disabled man, really. I just wish I could be kinder to myself. And that way, if I was kinder to myself, I could have some more confidence and say, you know what, I can do a heck of a lot.